what's up everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another after like a month over a month um dying light 2 video it's been a while since i made one and since they're releasing the community update number three i thought i would take a look at this short video we got right here and react to it and see what they got in store for us now this is one minute and a half i can turn it into an hour long but I don't think I'll do that. I'm gonna like probably talk for like five, maybe ten minutes. I don't know. We'll see now. Depends on what they show us. So here goes nothing. Let's hear pilgrims. The first wave of community ideas comes to life. Whose idea? I definitely are not listening to me, I'll tell you that much. Danger, danger. The city just got more dangerous. All right, cool. Let's see how that happened. The city just got more dangerous. New variants. I can see it down here. Okay, so it says new enemy variants down there, replayable GRE anomalies, and hu humanity viral. Is that what it says? Jeez, man. Well, what's that? That sounds interesting, I think. All right, so I still got those guys with like all the wires around them. Okay, it's not a scary look, you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Kind of looks funny. Like when I look at it, like I feel bad for the zombie. But um, that's just me, personally speaking. Anyways, um, let's see what they're talking about. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Is this daytime or is this nighttime? There's a fire behind them. Usually those fires are lit like at night. New enemy variants. They turned him into a new enemy variant. But I am not sure how he's a new enemy variant. Does Is the Howler now like a day creature? I mean, like that's a simple way of fixing it, to be honest. Instead of just, you know, tossing it aside. Just turn it into, you know, it's the threat of the day now. You know, that would be pretty smart. I wouldn't mind that. A new enemy variants. All right. So human and all right, like they have a new move set. Okay, wait. So they're using. Okay, so I think they have new move sets, and they're using weapons that are modded. Like we we haven't seen them do that before. I don't know. It's been a while since I played the game, guys. I've been playing so much Elden Ring. I almost forgot how this game is um all right or was it i don't know how it is now that's for sure unless you already jumped in and played which i haven't done but i probably will make another video in a week or so maybe check out the new updates and all that and let you know what i think anyways replayable gre anomalies is what we're at next look um personally speaking again i've enjoyed the gre anomalies probably only on my very first encounter like that shit felt scary to be honest but like now if they are replayable but this guy is is not a new variant and it's exactly the same thing like i don't know i've heard so many people complaining about it being like dull and like mundane and like it wasn't that much fun after you know maybe be killing it once or twice or whatever so i don't know why they made it replayable and or why the community wants to fight these guys again and again and again um unless now they're gonna give really good rewards then i would do that i really would like i don't mind fighting these guys if they become a bit harder if they add a few other like you know dangerous zombies in there maybe like a demolisher or whatever something else in there with, with the like just normal uh, biters then i wouldn't mind i would be enjoying it actually a lot more you know i i like that sense of danger um this is why i enjoy elden ring it's just like it's a really hard game unless like you're using parries or summons or just you know one shot builds other if you're not doing any of that it really is a fun challenging game and this is what i want this to be i want this to be elden zombies 
Anyways, let's see if they share any more information in regards to this creature right here standing in front of us. Well, I don't know, spewing some bullshit out of his fucking chest. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I saw a goon there. I mean, that's better than nothing, right? Humanity viral. All right, let's get into this. This is what I really want to know. Um, the GRE anomalies, uh, I'll make another video at some point and we'll figure out exactly what they're talking about. What is that? Okay, like now I'm, I'm curious. Like, I am really curious. I want to go and play this game and find out what they've done. I want to, you know, make a little review about the update. This is a review or a reaction, rather to the new trailer that they have here so um the city okay i have to try all these things out each single one see what the new variants are everything and get back to you let's progress executioner new knives new what i have to read everything before i see it guys weapon repairing all right all right, new weapon rarity. That's the most interesting thing to me. Followed by executions and finishers. I guess new knives is next. And then like weapon repairing, like, you know, I know what to expect out of that. So that's why I'm not really interested in that. But it is a welcomed um, addition to this game. Uh, something they should have had probably from the beginning. But hey, better late than never, I guess, right? All right, I gotta admit, what is that? Exotic? All right. It's pink now? That's the new shit? It's pink? And I'm like, okay, I don't mind pink, I guess. I don't know. I'd have preferred like, if it was like black or something. Or gray or like dark gray or like some like dark color. I don't know. That's just how I am, guys. I prefer dark colors. Um, but hey, pink and black in the background. That, that looks okay. Let's see here. Nighttime melee weapon damage is at plus 11. Power attack, critical strike chance. Critical strike chance. Critical strike. What does that mean? Like chance to do what? Double damage? 50% increased damage? How much is the critical strike exactly? How much bonus damage do I gain out of it? Full damage, all right. Daytime, like, I wish they introduce new stuff as well. Because, like, power attack, critical strike chance, I think that is new. But I hope they add a bunch of new ones, more interesting ones. Maybe on maces, there's a chance to stun the enemy for, like, three seconds. You know what I mean? If it's a regular um, biter, let's say. You can't do it on demolishers or any of that, for example. Or maybe on a demolisher, it works differently. It would just, you know, interrupt him. You know, like, push him back, just like, you know an inch or two interrupt his attack kind of like stance break in elden ring um after you like s you know smack him in the head like 10 times or five times i don't know but you know things like that would make the game a lot more interesting in my opinion seven regeneration on power attack i hate that seven regeneration on quick attack is what you always want guys but this, I have to get into, and I have to keep seeing what the stats are. I'm going to have to get a bunch of weapons. All right, I mean, this gives me somewhat of a reason to come back, to be honest. It really does, because I am interested in these updates, even though there's no re uh, no real, like, new content. There's, like, no new places to explore. I don't think there are, like, new NPCs or any of that, no new quests, you know. So, but this is good for now. I know we're waiting for the DLC, but... Would be nice to have something kind of some minor you know i don't know new content somehow in the form of maybe chapter three or what chapter are we on now yeah we're supposed to be a chapter three let's say anyways let's continue <laughs> Instant healing consumables. Okay. 
text chat PC only. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, who wants to use text chat with a controller in their hand? Right? Like a keyboard, that's cool. I don't want to chatting on the keyboard, but like, I don't want to like, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you use a controller and try to type stuff. Um, weather improvements. Okay. I always like the weather improvements. To me, the weather and the atmosphere and the game that's, you know, um, in any game is very important. So I hope they get it right. They make it darker. They make the zombies look more bloody, scarier, even if it just looks and like, you know, when it comes to their mechanics, they are still exactly the same. Personally speaking, that's what I would like to see. Um, gear mod dismantling, that's cool. Uh, bloom off, okay. Color grading, carrier, and what are they talking about? Leader outfits? I have no idea what that is. Enemies drop their weapons. All right. How about zombies drop some weapons for us? Are they going to do that? You know, when you have those encounters? Those legendary encounters with zombies at night? Please make them rewarding. Please, I am begging you. I do not want to fight humans because, like, enemies drop their weapons. They're, they're talking about humans. There's no way that's a zombie. A zombie doesn't have a weapon, right, for it to drop. But, like, you know, maybe I looted and it ate a weapon, swallowed a knife somehow. And if it's a demolisher, it was able to swallow a big sword. I mean, I've seen humans, like, swallow swords. Like in a circus or whatever, I'm sure Demolisher can do that for once. Um, this is Xbox. I don't know what the slider is. I think I do. Uh, PS5 already has that option. So sorting options and stash. Okay. And hiding. What are they talking about? I don't know what hiding the paraglider backpack. All right. So like you don't see it on your back when you're running. You can you know. It's kind of like in some games, like, uh, let's say, WoW, where you're allowed to have a cloak, and then you can just, like, remove the cloak, or just make it so that people don't see the cloak on your back, but you actually have it equipped. Um, anyways, let's see. Now, guys, see, over 10 minutes, or like 15 minutes, it looks like, if not longer. All right, this is just the beginning. Oh, they're putting guns. There's more content coming soon, and they show you a gun. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, look, guys. Like, the game is trying to improve, but, like, I just wish they chill on the, you know, aggressive monetization they can introduce so many new skins and make them like the coolest skins that you can only purchase there's no way to find them in the game no matter how many thousands of hours you spend playing this game and i would be cool with that make them dark like just get a bunch of really good artists and make them imagine that they're in a zombie apocalypse tell them how would you want to look cool and scary and dark in a zombie apocalypse you know what i mean and like Come up with some nice stuff, and I promise you, I myself would spend money on this game, buying skins. But if they're going to make it that it's blueprints and stuff, well, I'm just going to be stubborn. No, like, I'm not going to spend any more money on this unless it's a DLC, and that's it. So, it's all up to them, guys. We'll see how, they, uh, how, the, how things play out. Wow. Uh. Oh, and get ready to slice some pumpkin tiles. Oh, the pumpkin guys are back. Alright guys, I'm definitely going to get into this and find out what this is about, what the quests are like. And I'll make probably one or two videos, maybe one about the community update, generally speaking, all the updates, to all the things we just discussed, and the new bundle that you're going to introduce with a new community event. So we'll discuss the update in a separate video, and then the event in a different video. Um, we'll see. I'll probably keep them like maybe, I don't know, days apart, maximum one week apart each video. And um, as long as they keep creating new stuff, I'll always keep creating content for you guys. Download it now. Enjoy free event. All right. 
All right, so this is the end of the video. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Do share your comments. Uh, tell me what you think. Are you hyped? Are you not? Are you going to come back when more content is released, when there's some proper, like, new things to actually do instead of just, like, new weapons and new, I don't know what, like, actually new places to explore and new NPCs, like, you know, like the DLC? Is that what you're waiting for? Or is this enough? Are you going to just come, maybe check out the updates, play the event, be, you know, participate in the event, and then quit afterwards and wait for the next update? Or are you just gonna wait for the dlc or have you just quit the game and given up on this company altogether and on this game or what's going on with you guys let me know in the comments below and once again and as always again thank you all so much for watching i hope you're all having a wonderful day take care and see you all next time peace